I had a friend who, uh, an artist friend who had a beta cam. And uh, the first test I did with Hal was just putting on the makeup and doing photographs. And it was the photograph by NBC photographer. And he wasn't a very inspired photographer. And unfortunately, every picture he took, Hal looked solemn with little expression. He was very worried and upset because he thought he wasn't getting any expression through the makeup. And he'd never experienced this kind of thing before. And so, uh, as I say, he worried about it. And I said, well, we've got to do some more tests. So I arranged to do this at my friends with the beta cam. And I made basically three different makeups. Uh, you know, what I had done before, and then something less, and something even minimal. And got him up there and put on these different makeups very quickly. And uh, sorted noses and so forth. And anyway, try the very first one I put on, uh, immediately that he saw himself in action on the screen and saw that it did nothing, it prevented no uh, inhibition of his expressions or anything. It all came through. And he was immediately relieved and pleased and confident. And then it was just a matter of saying, well, which nose do we like best? And then choosing. And since I had this kind of little assortment, uh, we went through and we selected kind of a medium, a little less heavy than my first choice, which I think was more like Mark Twain, mm -hmm. but one that he felt very comfortable with. And that was it. There were Wonderful. some special challenges, mm -hmm. namely his white suit. Mm -hmm. I mean, here I'm putting on a heavy makeup, which normally was done by you know, gluing on the foam latex on his hands and on his face, and then putting good old rubber mask grease paint over it. Well, that's about the messiest, greasiest, most awful stuff you can imagine. And it would have been on his white collar and his suit and on his pockets and everything in two minutes. And this is a, a live presentation, no stopping. This is in a theater with an audience. So I had to solve that problem. And uh, the best thing I could find was to put, a, make it, put some uh, liquid rubber, liquid latex, mix that with some artist acrylic paint in a flesh tone that matched the makeup I was putting on his face. And uh, I found that it was flexible enough to stick to the foam latex and to the skin and uh, pretty much match the makeup color. And uh, uh, I, uh, the only problem was it came out very shiny, like enamel. And so I had to uh, hit it with a powder puff just before it completely set. So it would pick up a little powder, but not too much to dull it down. It was tricky. And uh, that's what I used on his below the jawline and on his hands, and it worked fine. I mean, it was a crude thing, and I found much better things in later years. Uh, one called Pax, which has become famous, uh, which is a much, much better material and, and has had widespread use. So, but I, you know, you, you, have to, you have to crawl before you can walk.